Now you you, you mentioned somewhere <laughs> that, Rich. that when y'all came into yeah. the woo, you and 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 Ghost came in kind of like as the EPMD of the crew. No doubt. Mm-hmm. Now that explain our, that, man. Like that was our that was our department. Right. Like when we was building a woo, we was we was emulating the hit squad mm. because the hit squad was hard. Mm. You know, shout out to Naughty by Nature too. They was they was the niggas right. back back in the nineties. Mm. Right. Mm. You feel me? Like you know, Tretch coming through, making niggas throw back on the boots again in the vests and you know paying attention what e- EPMD and them is doing as well. And Red Man came, all them niggas clicked up. So you know they was Jersey niggas. So you know we close to them niggas like mm-hmm. Staten Island. Is, is like Bay on you a Bay on bridge away from these niggas? Yeah, word up, nigga, run across the bridge if a nigga's in, in danger. <laughs> <laughs> That's how close we was. Right. But make a long story short, we wanted to be, we wanted to be like that. We wanted to be the the niggas con- contenders. Mm-hmm. You feel me? It wasn't like it was personal or nothing like that. It was just that it was just snatched. That's how y'all flowed. Right. Us, we got a team that 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 could match y'all though. Right. You feel me? Yeah. And next thing you know, we was like, yeah, we got the we got the red man looking like nigga. We got the red man is the method man. Yep. He's out. We got method man. He got red man. Right. All right, boom. EPMD. Me and Ghost. Um, you know what I mean. Old Dirty um, was whoever you, you wanted. Know what I mean? Bust yeah, or you know whoever. what I mean. Right. Old Dirty could have been K Solo. Mm. K Solo was going right, right, crazy. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? Um, Eric Sermon. You know what I mean? He was the Rizzo, the mm. Jizzle. You know what I mean? Parish, you know what I mean? Whatever. Right. Mm-hmm. But more importantly, they was the hot niggas. We respected them, and we just try to come with something on that level. But right. me and Ghost, we just clicked a little bit more than everybody thought that we would because right. we was we was talking that talk, that mm-hmm. that that street talk. Like mm-hmm. heavy, right? Like so, more, more you know so than I mean? more so than anybody else in the crew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. Like you know, you know, we our shit go all the way back from being in school, snapping and. Watching niggas come in, like, I know niggas that got stories, like, niggas, niggas was on the corner and a fucking bank truck just hit the corner and the fucking bag of money came out flying out the back. Some, some movie <laughs> shit. some Tom and Jerry so, and, shit. and everybody ran out the building and grabbed some? <laughs> no, like, you know, niggas on the corner and they just sit just mm-hmm. hit the corner, bag of money come out. Boom, boom, boom. Wow. <laughs> And next thing you know, these niggas come to kind of, um, school tomorrow. We in the fifth grade with like eight sheepskins on. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, this nigga got all flavors. Now, I also get the impression, are y'all two like the oldest members of the crew? Nah, nah, nah. Because um, y'all got that presence. Like, y'all got the... Yeah, we you know, old soul brothers, right, though, right, man. Right. But nah, we, uh, nah I'm, I'm not the oldest, but um, you know, I'm up there, though. Right. I gotta use the hair club for men and <laughs> now, now I always Blacking got the, it out, I always got man. the impression too, man, that y'all was like y'all two, like y'all were definitely comfortable within the woo, yeah. but like it always seemed like y'all might just one day secede from the woo as well. You yeah. know what it is? We was we was probably the most overprotective of the crew. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So like, y'all loved hard. Yeah, like right. you know what I mean? Like when it came to loyalty for for Rizza, like I said, you you could see pictures out there with us picking Riz up, like. We really feel like that's the general, mm-hmm. like general custard mm-hmm. him. You know what I mean? So right. for me and Ghost, we we protect our brand because at the end of the day, that's how we, that's how passionate right. we are about the shit. Like we don't never want niggas to ever feel like, you know, we don't detect funny shit or whatever. It's like we we got to be the eyes to the crew. Right? Mm-hmm. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? It's, it's it's bigger than just rhymes. It's like protection too. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So me and Ghost is always like the outspoken. While the other while the other cats, some cats is low key. Some cats don't talk a lot. You know what I mean? I don't take nothing away from who they are, but right, right. you know what I mean? At the end of the day, that's how some cats are. Like, right. you know, when you assemble a crew, you don't expect everybody to have the same energy. Nah. But just for us, we was the flamboyant ones. We was the ones like I, I will smack you in your fucking melon. Yeah. Like these niggas, these niggas going to start some shit or whatever. They they started it. Right. You know what I mean? But it wasn't that. It was just, you know, holding You're going to fall back. Flag. You're going to hold the hammer, though, while you fall back, though. Yeah. Flag. Nah. But, like, to me, Ghost, Ray, and, and, and Deck feel like them type cats that, like, you know what? We're going we gonna to stay in the hood. Mm-hmm. Like, like some of y'all going to go to Hollywood. Some of y'all mm-hmm. going to go out of space. And we support you with that shit. Right, right, but, right, right. But we're going to stay right here. We're going to keep this fort right here, you know, and... We're going to keep this outpost standing, <laughs> in a sense, right? I now, mean, you know, you, you call it that. You know, I'm trying to get the fuck out of the <laughs> <laughs> I ain't, man, I ain't living not, not, in the I heard you did pretty time. good for yourself, though, man. You, I mean, you, you, you know, did pretty good for yourself, yo, man. Yo, man, it, keep it doing don't it. stop. One thing about me, I, I, I learned that, you know... Don't ever be satisfied because right. everything mm-hmm. that glitters ain't gold. It's, it's, mm. it's how much work you do. Mm. Right. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Everybody can say, we all made millions of dollars. Don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. I made millions, B. I'm, I'm happy. 
I took care of my family. Nice. I, I, you know what I mean? I mm-hmm. got shit to show for. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm still doing it today, but mm-hmm. yo, it's real, man, when you when you when you paying bills, man. What I think is, is so amazing about the Woo and so amazing about you as an individual is that, you know, for a group that basically touched down twenty years ago. Word, right. 20. Like you know, like like we mentioned earlier, hip hop basically as as a rap group or as an artist. You know, traditionally you have a lifespan of like five years, That's maybe right. seven, and then right. you luck, luck, you lucked out. You lucked but what's up. amazing about the Woo's, you've had so many talented members yeah. within the crew that yeah. could keep pushing the legacy beyond five, ten, fifteen, twenty. You know, you've had the meth days, and not counting anybody out, not saying that there's not going to be yeah. surgeons, but yeah. you had the meth days. You know what I'm saying? You had the Jizza, you had the ODB. You know what I'm saying? In the in the two thousands, you had you know Ghostface was like the surprise, like cat carrying yeah. the torch. But what I'm yeah. looking at right now is like I think over the past three, four years, like that torch has been handed in a sense to you right. in terms of pushing the legacy forward, man. Because right. because you resonate so much. My son is fifteen years old. Mm. And and so, you know, one thing I'm looking at, like, you know, the differences between our generation and their generation. Exactly. And I realize, I realize, like, like a strong price might be scary to these young kids mm-hmm. that never lived that gritty New York right. life that yeah. we did. Right. The Woo, the first time I ever played the Woo in the car, my, I could tell they was like, yo, what the, what fuck, the fuck are they talking? That shit is scary. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but, so what do you attribute, attribute you being relevant right now to, B? Well, I guess for me, man, it's just staying in the mix, man, right. and you know, you know, I adapt to them. I give it up when it's time to give it up. You know what I mean? But more importantly, it's the comfort the comfort zone that you put people in around you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like I don't come across as somebody that's not approachable, mm-hmm. but do but I do come across right. like that. Right. But like I said at the end of the day, for me. This is something I love to do. Right. Mm-hmm. I love I love hip hop, so I gotta be where it's at. Mm-hmm. I gotta see what's going on. As long as niggas see me and say, "Yo, that nigga's still doing it the way I the last time I seen him," mm-hmm. you know what I mean. So you give people a look at you to say, "Yo, yo, you here still?" You know what I yeah. mean. Yeah. Even though nigga might say, "Yo, you yesterday in their heart," but if they see you looking good and you flying around and you you know, <laughs> mm-hmm. just you know how I go. You know, niggas see you on deck. Looking right, niggas uh, uh, want to see that because it's like, yo, that's good to see you like that. Right, no, definitely. You know what I mean? Right. But my thing is, I just managed to be keeping my ear to what's going on. Not, see, not, Snoop is the nigga that I could say is the mastermind of that because right. he was able to come from that and still keep reinventing himself through mm-hmm. the years. So mm-hmm. I watched that man too and, and said, yo, that's what time it is, man. Not, you know, not, you not, only get as old as you want in the game. Now, one thing that I also want to, I think, that I credit to is, you know, certain artists that are, that are in the now, mm-hmm. how they pay homage to you. Yeah. Like, and, and I don't yeah. think nobody's paid greater homage to the Wu than Kanye. Yeah. Like, you know what oh, I'm saying? Like, like, is, like, 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 like fan, it, it seems like every collab that y'all did with him mm-hmm. is crazy. Wow. You know what I'm saying? The morning, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, gorgeous, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. like all that shit, man. It's like yeah. almost to the point that I think that y'all might need to do a collabo, man, like a Woo Ye joint, because every joint y'all touch with, with Ye is crazy. And see, this is how I know hip hop is so real and serious because, like I said, I pay attention to the blogs and I read it and I read through what people's opinions are. And the same way you feel, maybe the same way I feel, maybe the same way he feel. You know, Kanye is somebody that, like I said, he's like our little brother. He's getting his 15 minutes of fame, and he's he's tackling it in the right way. You know what I mean? But as, you know, really coming together and doing something like that, it would be ill for hip-hop. It would be something that people could say, yo, RZA and Kanye in the room, like, you know what I mean? Like, because Ye like that off-tempo shit as well, too, so... It would it would be ill, but it'll also be ill to see a Just Blaze, you know what I mean? Throw his shit or see a Dr. Dre or see this. This is all the shit that we always told RZA, like, yo, B, we know that you designed us for this particular right. style, mm-hmm. but we're MCs, man, mm-hmm. and these niggas love us. So, you know, you know what I mean? Like I said, if we was able to do that even at an earlier time, we probably would have made way more, way more fly shit, but we... We was just under that, you right. know, under that one roof of, of music. But you, you went for that, though. I mean, yeah. I, I love a mobilarity. I mean, I love the joint sneakers on a mobilarity. It's one of my anthems. Yeah, that's you know? Pete Rock right there. Yeah. And, I mean, on your second album, you were like, all right, you know what? Let me get out from under the umbrella. 
all love and respect to it, but let me get out from under it. Because you, I, real, you, re, you knew at that time too, you couldn't stay in that one place. But I didn't want to though. Because there was I a backlash like, though. I felt wasn't like there? I knew how to flip, flip it either way. Right. You know what I mean? Like one thing about me, my name is the chef for reasons because, like I said, I'm always going to cook up something different. You know what I mean? And I think that the Wu sound was. It's so militant, but more importantly, it's like it kind of like contained us right. mm-hmm. into one world where everybody thought that that's the only thing they like to rhyme on. Mm-hmm. But, but Nigga, I like to rhyme on anything that's ill. Mm-hmm. But, but but I think mm-hmm. even within like in a in a weird sense, like coming from that sense where the, the sound was confining, mm-hmm. the twenty years later, where that sound has influenced so many cats like a Kanye. So even though his style might be different, the genetic DNA. Of his shit is, is, is y'all, you know what I'm yeah, saying? So yeah. that shit is just crazy. Yeah. I, I just remember last summer when I was listening to uh, the Good Music album. Mm-hmm. Like, I didn't, I don't read the credits anymore. I just, mm-hmm. I, you know, because the shit is so digital. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, so I was fiending for the new God Flow shit. Mm-hmm. That shit was masterful. Yeah, that shit yeah, ended. Yeah, I'm listening yeah. to the shit in the car, and then that shit drops. And then and then I hear your voice on the on the morning joint. I was yeah. like, yo, this shit it don't get perfect. It don't get better than this, B. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what's up. It don't no get doubt. better than that, man. How was it working with Ye, man? Nah, Ye, Ye, a cool dude, man. Quiet, you know what I mean? Just throw it on and you know what I mean? We just vibe out or whatever though. But he real to himself though, but you could tell he passionate about what he loves. You know what I mean? He loves making beats, he loves rhyming. You know, he got stories with how he feel about certain cats, and that's real. You know what I mean? That's how I am when I get around dudes, too. Right. You know what I mean? You just Your whole design is just to make sure brothers is comfortable. You right. know what I mean? Because just to have certain guys in your presence, that means a lot, too. So I guess for me, you know, he was like, yo, chef, yo, you one of my favorites. Like, where the fuck your mind be? You can rhyme to anything. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like anything. You know what I mean? Y'all niggas is really lyricists. Like, and you can say anything. Yeah, like I, I, I love the song <laughs> Triumph. <Say anything. laughs> Seriously, I mean the, the song Triumph. You and Deck are the bookends for. I mean, people don't consider that a posse. Cause I do, but I mean Triumph is. You put that in a capsule. This is one of hip hop's greatest songs of all time. Oh, one you thing. and Deck bookend that joint. Mm, Deck and then, said it. He killed this. Set it off. D- Deck kills it. Atomically. He's like our three pointer man. He just mm. hit the three. You mm. know what I mean? Like but, a Ray Allen nigga. Like. But hold on a second. Hold on a second. You made him jump like Rod Strickland on that. Oh no doubt. Th- Shout out Rod too. Rest in peace. I mean, I mean, y'all bookended that. That like, like, where do you, where do you even get the like, like? Honestly, I mean, I would have to be dusted crazy to come down. Like, how do you? Where do you get the language? Where do you smoking get the smoking dust? Yeah, smoking dust, right? <laughs> Niggas is ex dust heads, and you know, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. But you know what it is? It's just, it's just slang on top of lyricism. You know, taking your time to the right, the right that first line that that's ill, and and come right after that second line. Like, not just do the normal. You know what I mean? It's a lot of it's a, it's easy to just say. Words all the time that everybody say, you mm-hmm. know what I mean. That's the easiest shit. But I think as a lyricist, we all attract to that shit when you say something that's that different. makes somebody go ooh, somebody, something that's different, something that's mm-hmm. like wow, like he really worked on them bars. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. you know, right now anybody could rhyme, like you know what I mean. Anybody could rhyme. Anybody could rhyme. Right. I, I could take, I could take my brother right here. Next week he'd be ready. He'd be looking hey, at you like about to be spitting some Kim. bars, me. I might have to, you know, what I mean? put him under the wing and say, yo, you know, take the job. Right, you know right, what I mean? right, right, right. But nah, lyrics is important to us, man. We always took that as like, you know, like fighting, mic fighting, sword mm. fighting. You know what I mean? In today's world, it ain't even about that no more, but I can't get away from but it. But you can't get away from it. I can't, you know you, what I mean? You, you I gotta can't, get you, up you there can't get away from that shit, man. can't get away from it, B. You know, I think one of the most... Uh, Unexpected things that you did, but it but it fit into in terms of your trajectory mm. was when you did the Justin Bieber record. B. Mm. Like, like, didn't want me to do that. Like, that who, was who, who didn't want you to that do that. Was, who didn't want you no, to do that? No, but that's Ghost didn't like, want you, you know, to do that. Who nah, didn't want nah. you to do that? <laughs> Shark Who didn't want you? Justin? That nah. shit was. We talked about how masterful that was. Yes. Yeah. How masterful, and we had because we were, we are friends with other rap dudes, and we were trying to tell them. Make make a joint with Justin Bieber. It, it, Yo, actually, matter of fact, we was having that conversation with our boy. Yes, we were like, you need to do a record with with, with Justin Bieber, and he said, Nah, yeah, I was can't a little, fuck with And Justin. then, like a month later, you came out with that joint, B. Wow. Murdered it. Yeah. Wow. How was that, man? How was that experience, man? Nah, that was you know that was something that I wanted to do from the rip. Like right. 
one thing you got to remember, I'm still a politician in this business. I mean, you know, I don't got nothing against Justin Bieber. I think he's a successful young cat. I'm a fan, you know. I, you You're know, a fan? I like him. You're a fan? Yeah, I'm a fan. Okay. You know, I, my kids school me right. on him. He got a pretty nice voice. He doing good for himself. Right. So for any way, you know, you call my name and you want to be involved with it, it's like, Politically, it makes sense because we both done something big in the game, and you've crossed you've you know crossed I mean? the boundaries before. Yeah, with SWV I mean, mainstream, and you've done yeah, like, yeah. Like I, I could say, I could literally say, I done both worlds. You know what I mean? Right. And my and my history of being in the game, so it wasn't nothing for me. It was just two brands that was just merging, and it was going to be something new and fresh. 